For this evening, President-elect Donald Trump will hold his fourth thank you rally. Tonight, Trump hits the stage in Grand Rapids, Michigan, a state he turned red, something every Republican presidential nominee had failed to do since George H.W. Bush won there in 1988. Trump is on the road already. He's in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He just wrapped up a go vote rally for the Republican Senate candidate there named John Kennedy. President-elect Trump continues to fill his cabinet, meanwhile, he has apparently not yet decided who will be his secretary of state. But transition sources tell CNN he has decided it will not be Rudy Giuliani. The former New York City mayor was told earlier this week that he's out, according to sources. We're also being told that Trump is looking even more closely at ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson for the position. Tillerson has publicly spoken out against sanctioning Russia. He has known President Vladimir Putin dating back to the 1990s when Tillerson headed up Exxon's branch in Russia. And just in case you think President-elect Trump has been insufficiently ubiquitous, we now know that he will continue to be the executive producer of the reality show he left when, his, when he started his campaign. CNN Sarah Murray joins me now here in Washington. Sarah, explain to me how this is going to work. The trans transition team, uh, they're saying that uh, his being executive producer of Celebrity Apprentice, it's, it's just going to be something of a hobby? I think we're all dying to know exactly how this is going to work out. Obviously, it's not normal for a president to have a side gig, but Donald Trump is not your normal president-elect, and sources are telling CNN exactly that, that even though Donald Trump made a big fuss over the fact that it wasn't his business interest that mattered to him, it was the presidential campaign, it was becoming president, he doesn't look like he wants to leave those behind anytime soon. On the campaign trail, Donald Trump easily shrugged aside his business interests, insisting the allure of the White House was far more important. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It's nice when you don't have to care, but I don't care. What I care about is making America great again. That's much more important. It's much more important. But now the president-elect is showing little sign of stepping back from his corporate calling. And yet another potential conflict of interest, sources say Trump will remain an executive producer for NBC's Celebrity Apprentice, even as he serves as president of the United States. Trump hosted 14 seasons of The Apprentice, but in 2015, NBC said it was cutting ties with Trump after his controversial remarks about undocumented Mexican immigrants. I have a big chunk of that show, and I could have done it for another five years if I wanted to. Uh, but I don't know. There's a lot of pressure on Arnold because Arnold's going to have a hard time. You know, it was the number one show, and I did it for 14 seasons. I have a big stake in it. Now one of Trump's top advisors, Kellyanne Conway, is defending Trump's decision, saying he'll remain involved in the show in his free time. Were we so concerned about the hours and hours and hours spent on the golf course of the current president? I mean, presidents have a right to do things uh, in their in their spare time or the leisure time. Of course, Trump and other Republicans were sharply critical of the time President Obama spent on the links. And he gets on this plane, flies to Hawaii. He's there for a long time. Golf, 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 more, more. Learning how to chip, learning how to hit the drive, learning how to putt, oh, I want more. The latest news on Trump's business dealings comes days before he's slated to hold a press conference on who will run his company once he heads to the White House, although there's little indication Trump will fully divest from his business. But in the meantime, the battle for Secretary of State rages on. CNN has learned ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson's stock is on the rise for the post, but one-time frontrunner Rudy Giuliani appears to be out of contention. And Trump is using his thank you tour to defend the cabinet picks he's already made, which include a number of business titans with little government experience. By the way, some of the people I put on to negotiate, you've been noticing, are some of the most successful people in the world. And one newspaper criticized me. Why can't they have people of modest means? Because I want people that made a fortune. Because now they're negotiating with you. Okay? That road show continues today with an evening rally in Michigan, as well as a stop in Louisiana to campaign for a Republican Senate candidate. But before he left Trump Tower, he squeezed in a meeting with House Speaker Paul Ryan, who's putting aside his past criticism of Trump in favor of a show of unity instead. We're very excited about getting to work and hitting the ground running in 2017 to put this country back on track.
Now, we've paid a lot of attention to the battle over Secretary of State, but there's been another one brewing about who is going to lead the Republican National Committee now that Reince Priebus is going into the White House. And we are expecting Donald Trump to make it official tonight and to throw his support behind Ronna Romney McDaniel. She's the head of the Michigan Republican Party, with the caveat that nothing is set until it comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. And of course, RNC committee members would have to vote on the pick, but uh, the, the backing of the president-elect holds an awful lot of weight for that job. Sure does. Interesting, because there was talk that Governor Chris Christie might be considered for that position. Yeah, there was talk before things went a little bit south, I think, in the relationship between Chris Christie and Donald Trump. All right, Sarah Murray, thank you so much.